Good evening and welcome everyone. Not one day passes in which Russian President Putin is not made out to be mainly responsible for the current Ukraine crisis. The mainstream media say that he is the man who could stop further bloodshed. He would only have to pull back his troops and stop intervening in East Ukrainian affairs. There is increasingly talk of the so-called Russian aggressor. So let us take a closer look at this aggressor. For instance, how he is currently handling the flood of asylum-seeking immigrants from East Ukraine. Because of the continuous bombing of various cities, more and more people are trying to escape East Ukraine into Russia, usually women with children. While the areas around Slavyansk are under fire by Ukrainian military tanks and high-end weapons, about half of Slavyansk population has fled. Lines of Ukrainians can be seen in front of the migration centers in Russia. Every one of them receives refugee status without complications, as well as a work permit effective immediately. The Ukrainians who do not have relatives in Russia are housed and taken care of in clinics and rehab centers free of charge. Many Russians in Russian border cities are inviting refugees into their homes until they can move on. Care packages containing food and clothing, especially for children, are streaming in from all over Russia. The Russian Red Cross has already collected more than 2 million euros in donations. Food supplies are even shipped from Russia to Slavyansk. The people there stand in line for hours to receive a couple canned goods and a little bread. Still, the Ukrainian military block the streets and hinder civilians from leaving the fighting zones. The Russian media stated, as soon as people come near the checkpoints, they are shot at without warning. Ladies and gentlemen, is this how a Russian aggressor would act toward Ukrainian refugees? Does not the illegal Ukrainian coup government prove itself to be the real aggressor toward its own people? Despite this, the U.S. government claims to have sound proof against the quote-unquote Russian aggressor, that the reason he sends his troops and weapons into eastern Ukraine is to destabilize the country and annex the Ukraine to Russia. To hear a different voice concerning these allegations, watch the following current interview with President Putin from June 4, 2014. Get your own point of view. Listen to your heart and form your own opinion of the so-called Russian aggressor. Thank you for watching. Until tomorrow.